Welcome back to another Black Skies review. Come on in, the water's just fine. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at the McFarland Toys Raw 10 Frenzy Shark. This is like a cybernetic shark. It is just really, really cool. And I think, in my opinion, it would be great for a 118 scale um, shark for whatever you could use it for in your universe. So for the packaging, it's kind of open box design. You can put your hand there, you can touch the shark, you could try out any of the features that it has. It does have two very large zip ties holding it in place. Um, mine's a little banged up. Uh, I got this at Walmart. It was on clearance for like $14.99. I've had my own eye on this for a while for something I want to do with my G.I. Joe's. Um, it, was, it had a little bit of a clearance price, so it only had two, so I bought one. Box a little beat up, but that's okay because I'm going to open it anyway. Um, so check your local Walmarts. I think all the Royal 10 um, offerings are on clearance now, as of this video today. Um, so this is the package. Like I said, you see most of it uh, in the front is open. Here on the top right, we have the McFarland Toys logo. We have the Royal 10 logo here on the bottom left with the Frenzy nameplate. Nice artwork of the... Uh, figure on the front these are recommended for six and above there on the bottom right so on the top of this thing it's really not much to see you got the McFarlane toys logo you got the raw 10 logo on that side and most like the box is open again like I said and here's the side of the box it has the raw 10 and the frenzy nameplate nothing much to see there and on this side we have the artwork of the shark and we have the two-tone white and yellow with the black like lightning bolt down the center. Then with the McFarland Toys logo there on the back, we can see that there is a bio in three different languages, kind of like a little file um, card type display, like a transformer type thing. Um, we have the shark picture at the bottom. We can see the Cy, uh, Cybor, is that his name? Cygore to see through the camera and then we have the rattlesnake which i do have i do recommend that i use that for my cobras uh, it's like a robotic cybernetic snake in my in my kind of collection and then i i am going to pass on a raptor i think i've seen a raptor and a snake for like i want to say seven seven something and change at walmart like i said i'm going to give you guys a heads up that these are on clearance so if you would like to have any these you're holding out like i kind of did uh they're there. I didn't see the, the monkey. I'm going to pass on the monkey and the dinosaur, but they're not for what I would want. But the shark, definitely, and the cobra is a given. Um, so let's go ahead and get this out of the packaging. And we'll see what we got going on with the overall features of this shark. So it looks like all you really have to do is get in there and cut those, um, go ahead and tear this front here. So we can't get inside and see what we got. So I highly recommend, I'm going to try to savage this piece for like a display piece. You can actually probably paint that if you wanted to or leave it clear. It might be a good idea just to have it for like a display stand for your shark because the fins. I think all we have to do here is cut these two pieces, these zip ties, and uh, we should be good about releasing our deadly shark. Oh, yep, there it is. How about that? All right, for those of you that kind of want to keep this like I am, here's what it looks like. It is really tough to get out of the box without damaging. Uh, obviously, it's going to need cleaned up a good bit. Um, maybe take some goof off to get some of this paper off. I'm not sure if it's going to It should work. Um, then you get this tab here, which is pretty much useless. This is the part that's like really a pain, so we can just take some scissors and we can uh, clean this out like this. This will give you a decent, somewhat of a base. Um, well, obviously, I'm not going to clean this entire thing up here on the camera for you guys. That's up to you to what you want to do. And as you can see, we can put that down and bring in our shark. And then we have a kind of a base for the overall figure. Kind of cause if you don't do it, then you know you got your shark here. Then I don't know how you would display um, him just sitting on his two fins. I'm not sure if that's probably a great idea, even though this does feel like a very hard plastic, which is great. Um, 
they may damage it over time if you keep it for you know ever for example and um, we do have um just insert this plastic bag they use a lot of tape on this and man is it it's a little pain in the butt to get out even though it's like a nipple in the box so here's the front of it we have the raw 10 frenzy with the artwork we're following toys so we have the artwork of the monkey we have the raptor and then we have a fight scene between the the cobra snake the rattlesnake and the uh, raptor very nice artwork on this side we have the raw 10 looks like there's an artwork for a purple one maybe that's something that we released in the future or maybe something that was scrapped I am not aware of any future releases um, you know purples kind of um, kind of weird okay I get a blue shark okay yeah but anyway this still looks good for you know a cobra cybernetic shark right and let's see what we have oh what's a little poster this is kind of cool do you like the artwork buy a little dollar a couple dollar frame if you want to put that on your in your man cave or collector's room that's really cool okay so a little bio information we have the code name frenzy i do like that name for him that'd be pretty cool i like how it's spelled and then we have the species he's a great white shark his attacks are power draws frenzy strike fin attack Frenzy is a king of the ocean, every ocean. He is a mix of robotics and the DNA of a great white shark, combined with a prehistoric megalodon super shark for extra terror. Frenzy was created to be the prototype for the new breed of aquatic weaponry. But the dangerous minds at the robotic animal warrior, R.A.W. Labs, did their job too well, and Frenzy escaped. Now he stalks the ocean, an unstoppable hunter. Part shark, part machine, all deadly. Now that we know about this bad boy, let's take a look at the overall materials and articulation, paint, features, playability. Let's take a look. Let's say he looks really, really cool. So I'm going to take this out of the way. So, my overall first impression of this thing this thing is solid plastic. This thing is. We'll stand giving this to your kids if you really wanted to do that. It's got some nice um, quality plastic. The paint looks really good. Um, I bought this. I was going to do like, like I said, I don't want to spoil too much because I'm kind of going to do like a video with this with a a team of mm, from GI Joe, and I want to like do a video. And I don't kind of spoil too much about it, but you got to give you enough spoilers. Um. For me, you know, first look at it, I mean, the beautiful paint is a lot of the different, we have some darker, some purplish um, mix of paint here with some maybe other colors. Um, definitely brings out the overall sculpt and um, uh, aesthetics. So you see some, maybe some battle damage right there. His eyes just look menacing. And then his teeth looks incredible. It's very deadly. I like the blue. For the seven eggs, um, more of like a metallic color for his his mouth, his teeth, his bottom jaw, and his middle section here, and then his back fin, of course. Okay, so. For the articulation, his mouth does close and does open. And I'm pretty sure, which we'll try, we can get a 118 scale figure in there. It's pretty wild. Look at those teeth. It's actually pretty strong, um, pokey. So watch if you do get a, give this to your kids to play with. It can maybe hurt yourself or pinch yourself at least. Um, a little pokey. And it can hold at any uh, level of uh, close. You can close this a little bit. And it'll stay down, 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 all the way open. Uh, there's no articulation from like here up. 
that's the jaw. So here we have a little bit of articulation. So we have the back and forth swimming. Um, there is some articulation here, back and forth. A little, little bit of rotation, but you have the very back part. You hold this piece, it moves, and then the tail moves. Doesn't matter that much. Very, very cool. Very nice hinge there, you can see. So not have to worry about it breaking at all. The fins actually are very, very, um, very, very uh, hard plastic. So I don't think you got to worry about those bending or breaking off. So that's a good thing. Here's the bottom of the shark. It's incredible. Okay, here's the side. Here's the face. Other side. To the front, we do have a little nose hole there in the front. Eyes are like a red down inside. If you guys can see that or not, it's pretty cool. Side of it, here's some closer image of that scalp work for the cybernetic parts of the uh, shark. And with the tail, it looks just deadly. Oh, that's kind of sharp on the end. It's very pointy. Nice. They have this nice kind of metal with the black um, dry brush or, or like a wash. It's kind of interesting if you ever think about how they if they did create something like this. I mean, what did they cut the fin off, put them cybernetic? You got the pretty much the interior here. Maybe this is a flesh and this is cybernetics here. This would be flesh and then cut off the lower jaw and then give it some menacing metal cybernetic teeth. Um, definitely very cool. All right, so uh, let's see if we can get this back into where it was. And I'm going to go and get an 18 scale figure and we're going to see how well we can feed our shark. Alright, for all you Star Wars guys out there, hey, I mean, it's your universe. Whatever you do is correct. So I have a Stone Trooper. And we're going to see if we can feed our shark a Stone Trooper. They pretty much can get that whole Stone Trooper in there. You, if you bend his knees, I bet you could get him all the way in there. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's see if we can get him to spit that stone trooper out because he doesn't like imperial troopers, I guess. All right, so here we have a G.I. Joe trooper. Obviously, that's what he'd be snacking on in my universe. So let's see how he fits. Oh, uh, boy. Huh? His feet sticking out a little bit. Chomp him up in little pieces. And get him in there. Let's see if we can bend his knees and see if he fits a little bit better. Yep, look at that. If you bend his knees, he's gone. He's chomped. He's living in a cybernetic shark, being cybernetically digested, if you will. Yeah, and then you know, of course, maybe he doesn't like you know, Jaguar troopers, so he spits them out. Or maybe the trooper is so well trained, Navy SEAL, whatever it could be, he escapes the jaws of death. Okay, there you have it. That's McFarlane's Raw 10 Frenzy Shark. Like I said, check your local Walmarts. You heard it here first on Black Skies Reviews. Um, highly recommend this piece. It, I don't know what scale it is, uh, but it works extremely well with 118 scale, which is my absolute favorite scale and that's what I pretty much collect so if you are a 118 scale collector or a multi-scale collector this is very cool I'm not sure if this would work very well with your 112th and definitely not with your 16th 124th yeah it probably would work a lot better with 124 scale but 118th as you can see with the Joe Trooper worked out really really nicely so I am going to try to do a video 
of what you know why I bought this I'm gonna kind of display with the uh, troops that I'm going to use and explain to you like why kind of like you know spark my interest and uh, hopefully I can do that soon hope you guys enjoyed this review if you did hit that thumbs up for me don't forget to subscribe don't forget to comment down below please like and share the video with all your families as collect figures and collectibles and all your fellow collectors and as always guys we will see you in our next review